U. Me and Dupree is a 2006 American romantic comedy film directed by Anthony Russo and Joe Russo, written by Mike Lesueur, and produced by Mary Parent, Scott Stubber, and Owen Wilson. The film revolves around newlyweds Carl and Molly Peterson. After Carl's best man and friend Randolph Dupree loses his job and apartment, the couple allow him to move in but Dupree inevitably overstays his welcome. Plot Molly and Carl are preparing for their wedding day in Hawaii, until Carl's friend Neil interrupts to say that Randolph Dupree got lost. They drive off together to pick up Dupree, who appeared to have hitched a ride with a light plane after landing on the wrong island. A day before the wedding, Molly's father, who is also CEO of the company that Carl works for, makes a toast with humorous remarks at Carl's expense, foreshadowing a conflict between the two. Later at a pre-celebration at a bar, Carl neglects Dupree to be with Molly. Carl and Dupree later make up on the beach, as Dupree apologizes for laughing at Molly's father's jokes. Carl and Molly get married. When Carl returns to work, at Molly's father's Thompson Land Development, he is surprised to find that Mr. Thompson has promoted him to be in charge of a design he proposed, though it had been altered somewhat. Mr. Thompson makes absurd requests which proceed to get worse, starting with Thompson's drastic reimagining of Carl's new architecture project and that Carl get a vasectomy to prevent any future children with his daughter. Before returning home to celebrate his promotion with Molly, Carl stops by the bar, where he finds Neil and Dupree. After Neil leaves, Dupree reveals that he has financial problems, such as being evicted from his home and losing his job and car. Carl and Molly take Dupree into their home, though clearly they are frustrated as he is disruptive and messy. Molly sets up Dupree with a woman at her work, a primary school, who is a Mormon librarian. Dupree agrees, though Molly is shocked to find them having graphic sex when she comes home from dinner. Romantic candles burn down the front of the living room, and Dupree is kicked out. Meanwhile Carl is being continually stressed out from work though he and Molly find time to go out for dinner. On the way back they find Dupree sitting on a bench in heavy rain with his belongings. Dupree reveals that the librarian had just dumped him. Feeling pity, Molly insists they take him back in. Dupree apologizes for being disruptive and agrees to mend his ways. The next day, Dupree makes amends, refurbishing the living room, and doing Carl's thank you letters, as well as making friends with kids from the block. Dupree cooks a large dinner for Molly and Carl, though Carl is late again, so Molly and Dupree start without him. When Carl finally shows up, he is a little jealous that they were having dinner together, and have a fight. Carl kicks Dupree out, suspecting an affair, which shocks Dupree. The following night, Mr. Thompson is over for dinner. Dupree attempts to sneak back into their home but fails and falls off the roof. Dupree is found outside and is invited in for dinner. After Mr. Thompson takes a liking to Dupree and asks him to go fishing with him, it enrages Carl, who jumps across the table and attempts to strangle Dupree. Thompson hits Carl over the head with a candlestick shortly after. After returning from the hospital with a neck brace, Dupree and Molly confront Mr. Thompson about what he really thinks of his new son-in-law, while Carl had left. The next morning Dupree gets all the local kids to search for Carl. Dupree eventually finds Carl in the bar, and convinces him to chase after Molly. Dupree helps Carl break into Mr. Thompson's office and Carl marches into his father-in-law's office and confronts him. The two finally reach an understanding and Thompson admits to his agenda of insulting Carl. Dupree and Carl return to the house, where Carl and Molly reunite, Carl apologizing and agree to work it all out. All turns out well, with Dupree becoming a motivational speaker, Carl and Molly spending more time with each other, and Mr. Thompson accepting Carl as family. Production The film's production budget totaled $54 million. Composer Rolf Kent scored the film, and at the very last minute a euro a mere week before the press screenings a euro his score was replaced by one written by Theodore Shapiro. The scene that has Dupree arriving by plane on the wrong island was shot in the same valley as Jurassic Park. In the special features of the film, there is a different version trailer of You, 
Me and Dupree where in the trailer Dupree and Molly are married and Carl moves in. The DVD release of the film also contains a recut trailer horror thriller version of the film. Cast, Owen Wilson as Randolph Randy Dupree, Kate Hudson as Molly Thompson Peterson, Matt Dillon as Carl Peterson, Michael Douglas as Bob Thompson, Seth Rogen as Neil, Amanda Detmer as Annie, Ralph Ting as Toshi, Todd Stashik as Tony, Bill Hader as Mark, Lance Armstrong as himself, Billy Gardell as the barkeep, Harry Dean Stanton as Curly, Pat Crawford Brown as Aunt Kathy, Reception, Critical Response, a film received mostly negative reviews from critics. Rotten Tomatoes gives the film a 21% rating based reviews from 165 critics. The site's consensus is a rather generic entry into the arrested development subgenre, with themes borrowed from other more successful and funnier films. Dupree wears out its welcome. Roger Ebert gives the film two stars out of four, and compares the film to many other predecessors, suggesting Dupree is a descendant of Dick Nan also played by Wilson in Bottle Rocket, and that the film is at times like a version of Fatal Attraction, but criticizes the film for never properly deciding if Dupree is merely unlucky or actually manipulative. Ebert describes the film as having an idiot plot requiring characters to behave in unnatural ways for laughs or to force the plot forward, the comedy equivalent of Don't Go Down to the Cellar. In horror movies. Box office, on release for 84 days, the film grossed $75,628,110 at the North American domestic box office, and in addition earned $54,803,258 in international markets, for a worldwide total of $130,431,368. Steely Dan response, the film's title caused a minor stir as the uncommon name, Dupree, is the same as the title character in the Steely Dan song Cousin Dupree from their 2000 album, Two Against Nature. Steely Dan founders, Donald Fagan and Walter Becker wrote a somewhat tongue-in-cheek letter to actor Owen Wilson's brother Luke Wilson about the apparent absconding of their character's name. The duo invited the elder Wilson to make up for the theft of their character's name by coming on stage with them at one of their concerts to apologize to the band's fans. Owen Wilson gave a tongue-in-cheek response to the letter, stating in a press conference, I have never heard the song Cousin Dupree and I don't even know who this gentleman, Mr. Steely Dan, is. I hope this helps to clear things up and I can get back to concentrating on my new movie, Hey 19. References External links, official website, you, me and Dupree at the Internet Movie Database, you, me and Dupree at Rotten Tomatoes, you, me and Dupree at Box Office Mojo, you, me and Dupree Production Notes.